It is a cold and snowy day here in southwest British Columbia. Most of the garden is asleep, except for... Good afternoon, it's Richard Cannell here from Small Island Gardener, and on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about my all-time favorite plant, and that's this one right behind me, Capscum flexuosum. Capscum flexuosum is the world's most cold-hardy chili pepper, and it can survive temperatures down to negative 15 degrees Celsius, and as you can see, it has no problem with the snow. These plants are self-infertile, so it's important to have more than one and to place them within a couple meters of each other. Capscum flexuosum plants are similar to siblings coming from the same parents. Each one is unique. Some of them retain their leaves for longer into the cooler season, and others will lose their leaves almost immediately when it gets cold, and some of the plants produce more berries compared to leaves. Every year, just as a precaution, I like to remove the snow from the base of the plants. I'm really not sure if this does anything positive for the plants, but I figure why not? I don't think I could be hurting the plants by removing the snow around the base. And who knows, maybe it helps it, you know, not waste so much energy and it'll want to come out of dormancy a little bit earlier in the springtime. Eh, I really don't know, but I do it anyways. And uh, wow, it is frozen wood. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is, it feels like frozen wood. I think it's amazing how the leaves will remain on the plant even after it's frozen and thawed multiple times. Even the berries will freeze and they'll still remain on the plant. This one here is my favorite plant. It's just that perfect combination of beauty and productivity. It retains its leaves for the longest into the cold season and it produces better than any of the other plants, I think. It's just so beautiful. I love the contrast of the green leaves and the orangey red berries against the white snow. It truly is the star of the garden at this time of year and it's also really tall. I just love it. Now this one is short, stout, and produces the biggest berries. I love it. And then this one here, well, it's totally average. And same with the one next to it, which is also two years younger. But this one here is sort of one that loses its leaves early into the season, uh, the cold season, I mean, but it also retains a few of them. So that's kind of weird. It doesn't kind of go all into hibernation. So yeah, this one here is my second favorite because of its short, stout, and wonderful abundance. And then this one, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It is my favorite. I just love this plant. It's just so nice. Now this plant was actually the best of all the seeds originally sown. However, I was unsure if it could withstand our winters, so I kept it in a pot in the greenhouse. And I suppose that extra year in a pot sort of stunted its growth. And the same goes for this one. This was the second best plant. And although it's quite impressive in the sense that it's vigorous, it's got the thickest stem, it has a lot of branches that are widespread, and it does produce okay, it's just not the best anymore. I recommend planting them in the earth as soon as possible, probably about three months after sowing. I'm not really sure if you can tell this just by looking at the video, but this pepper is frozen solid. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it tastes just like a, like a spicy ice cube. It's excellent. As you can see, Capsicum flexuosum creates black seeds. Not only that, but they're really hard too. In fact, they're so hard that they have a really good shelf life. Some say that these pepper seeds will last about 10 years in standard storage conditions. Also, because they're so hard, I recommend watering the pots with a 1 to 8 dilution of hydrogen peroxide because that ends up softening the shells, making it easier for them to germinate. Okay, so I'm not sure that you'll be able to see this because there's so much snow, but I'll do my best and I'll at least describe it to you. So the first winter it got so cold that from here all the way down to here, the stem actually cracked open because the wood froze solid and I was so upset about it. In fact, there was some black mold there and I was just, yeah, not happy. But you know what? To my surprise, the plant 
started to heal itself. What it did was it grew a layer of bark, a fresh one, and the old layer of bark that had split open, it just curls away, sort of like uh, peeling birch bark or something. So not only can this plant withstand cold temperatures, but it can heal itself in case it gets damaged from the cold. I think that's just amazing. So thanks a lot for being with me here today. I had a lot of fun showing you these plants, and I hope you had a lot of fun learning about them too. Once again, I'm Richard Cunnell from Small Island Gardener. Until next time.